Health experts say the best way to fight these rising cases is for everyone to get vaccinated. You may have seen a claim online, though, saying there's an option other than the vaccines to treat COVID. In places like Texas and Florida, governors are setting up monoclonal antibody stations. You may have heard people call them Regeneron. That's one of the companies that makes these treatments. One verified viewer sent the team an email asking, why does a person who has been fully vaccinated need a booster shot when there's this Regeneron therapy available? So we're going to verify, is Regeneron a substitute for getting the COVID vaccine? To get our answer, we looked at information on the FDA's website. We also spoke with Dr. William Schaffner at Vanderbilt University's Medical Center and Dr. Nemanja Bumpus at Johns Hopkins University. According to the FDA, Regeneron can be used as a treatment or as a way to prevent severe COVID. It can be used as a treatment for those who are high risk, 12 or older, have mild or moderate symptoms and are not in the hospital. But they'll need to get it ASAP within 10 days of symptoms in order to work. The notion is that this monoclonal antibody will stick onto the virus and prevent it from multiplying further in your body, thus preventing the development of more serious disease. It is not, it is not a substitute for a vaccine. When it's used for prevention, meanwhile, it's for those who are high risk and only after they're exposed to someone who's positive. And just to emphasize, the FDA explicitly says that getting one of these treatments is, quote, not a substitute for vaccination against COVID-19. And here's why, according to our other expert, Dr. Bumpus. With Regeneron, there's a really small window to get the treatment after you've been exposed to COVID in order for it to work well. She says with vaccines, you're likely to get more long-term protection than with monoclonal antibodies. So we can verify that no, monoclonal antibody treatments like Regeneron are not a substitute for getting the COVID vaccine. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov. If you see claims about the virus or anything else floating around online and you're not sure what's true and what's not, you should let us know. You can shoot us a message on social media or you can email us at verify at whas11.com.